thank you very much, Mr. Muzenda. Um, the question is whether I am being uh, influenced by ZANU PF to break up the MDC. Now, how does the MDC break up? By what's going on? Does the MDC break up because someone is likely to contest someone? Is that the basis of breaking up a party? The When you are doing things in terms of the constitution, you are not breaking up anything. The constitution of the party says, as a member, I can contest any positions to which I am nominated. Now, what does that mean when people think that uh, if somebody is contested, then there's going to be a breakup? Is it a, a, an admission that uh, people will not accept the results of Congress, the results of the election? I think it would be tragic to think uh, uh, contesting an election as a way of breaking up the party. We have uh, uh, stayed together in the MDC um, without agreeing on, uh, on everything uh, every time. So we are going to be contesting this election. We must move away from this tendency of criminalizing competition within the party. The constitution says we can contest. President Chamisa himself says we can contest any position. And how does a person who contests the position then break up? But I also see that this is a, uh, a question that uh, really, really undermines the intelligence of uh, uh, the leaders. Um, uh, why should MDC influence anyone? Uh, uh, do, 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 do I need to be told by the... Uh, sorry, ZANU-PF, sorry. Do I need to be told by ZANU-PF um, to contest a, a position and so on? Um, we can think for ourselves, I can think for myself, myself certainly, because um, I, I've read the Constitution, I was part to the drafting of the Constitution, I was part of the resolutions of the National Council, uh, I was part of the strategic planning which was uh, presided over by the President, I was part of the Gueru Rally. Uh, where the president himself set this thing uh, clear, straight, the record straight, that all positions were up for uh, contest. 